Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this short video, I would like to introduce about my 10 Git routine with OpenWRT test lab that I have been doing for the last few weeks. And just a short introduction, this is an x86 computer running OpenWRT. This one is powered by the Intel's processor with 8 core, so I believe it should be enough to run OpenWRT. And then this is uh, Melanet Connect X3 adapter it is had two SFP plus port so this SFP plus port will be connected to another Dell XFP computer I'm sorry Dell XFF computers and right here we have another Melaconex X3 okay and then the other side of the fiber connected to my PC right here all right so let's back to the computer and let me show you how the network diagram looks like all right so i guess you can see it let me just adjust a little bit okay so this is the internet this is the lsff plus and this one is running the scp server so it is connected to my open rt router via the 10 gig fiber cable Okay, so it's connected to this OpenWRT computer. And from that, we have another port, also SFP plus port or fiber connection to my PC. So all the three connections is 10 gig. All right, so now let me run a uh, open speed test. So you can see this is the open speed test server running on this one, 10.24.0.1, and this is my PC, 192.168.5.163. So let's refresh the page, all right? Let me click start. And as you can see, we only reach around five gigabit throughput on the speed test. So I'm not sure if this is a speed cap due to the hardware or the speed test or the speed cap due to the module but let's check it out all right so we have around 5 git throughput uh, from this device to this device all right so let me run this is my x86 openwrt let me run top all right so 100 percent idle and let's run the test again and let's see refresh the page go star and let's see so we can see that the CPU is still 81% idle and we have around 5 GBPS connection so I believe that the limit may due to the hardware of the motherboard because my x86 OpenWRT is running on the Intel's L5630s and the main board, uh, the PCIe connection may be not able to handle the high speed. So I will end the video for now because I'm still busy with uh, further testings and hardware setup. So in the next videos, I will do uh, in-depth reviews of the hardware setup as well as the SFP modules and how I set up the internet connection. So. That's all for this video. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.